righteous protection. All right, fam. Up next, we got Jerry Lynn. But first, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to enable notifications so you know when I drop some heat. Drop a like for me. I appreciate it. Leave a comment. Get in the conversation. So I might as well have just called today like Thursday's timeless treasures because everybody that's coming today is just that. And Jerry Lynn is no stranger. I think with him, a lot of people use a term that kind of aggravates me and that's underrated. For a lot of people in those conversations, I believe a, a more befitting term is underused, underutilized, underrated. No, it, everybody knows precisely how great Jerry Lynn was. He's not underrated. He was underused. And that too, there with him specifically, that's arguable. You could have a conversation, oh, was he underused in ECW? Was he underutilized in WWF? Yes. Was he? <laughs> Couple promotions is a definite, but for the most part, no, uh, ROH. See, for me, when it comes to him, I know that the majority of people will put his ECW work as his pinnacle. I I don't know, bro. That uh that ROH was fire. I think a lot of what made his ROH work to me, especially so great, is just look at the dudes he had matches with. You know, a lot of them today, especially a who's who of some of our best in the world people. So I don't know. I put his all uh, yeah I. Is his ROH work better than his ECW work, in my opinion? Maybe not that. Maybe. I don't know, but it's close. <laughs> Absolutely close, man. He is. He's just a, a classic. He's a Thomas classic. Of course, match-wise, RVD will always be his best singles match. I don't think anybody would argue that. But, yeah, man, his ROH work. I'm, I'm not too far off. <laughs> You know what it is, keep it real, live righteous.